Hi, I'm Pastor Dave at the Port of Parsonage, and today I am going to walk you through what I have done so far and what I'm going to do in terms of uh, installing a pure sine wave inverter in the camper for a dedicated outlet. If you've been with us before, thank you for joining us again. If you are new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe and click that bell notification. You'll know when we have DIY videos coming out, when we have bucket list videos, uh, when we're doing evening prayer or morning prayer. Those are special times that we we have together with others. And, and uh, then there's our story, of course. It's my hope that in this video, we can encourage you to take a risk now and then, um, do a little personal upgrades, then uh, you can check out our other DIY videos as well. We have done a complete remodel of most of the camper. This is just one more step in that remodel. This may be the start of putting in a conversion kit all together to, to redo the whole camper so that it'll run off batteries. A while ago I did a partial install of a pure sine wave inverter and what I mean by partial is that the inverter itself is installed the ground wires are not hooked up the wires to the batteries are not hooked up and actually uh, power to anything else is not yet hooked up it is just mounted in the space that I wanted in and now I am going to um, mount a couple of of electrical outlets that are dedicated to the inverter and uh, that way when we are boondocking we have a couple of outlets that we can readily use all I have to do is push a button and I'll show you that as well that was the remote control is switch is is also installed what we'll do today is just run a couple of outlets one will go up around the TV I believe the other one is going to come and and set up fairly closely to the remote control switch so let me show you what I've got and uh, we'll take it from there. So in order to do this, I've had to remove all of the drawers and that gives me access to this compartment down the bottom. And there, there is the pure sine wave inverter. The uh, power cords or the, the power cables to the batteries will come off the back side on the left and off of this side over here is where the power is going to be plugged in you can see a cable there now that is hooked up to the remote control this is the wire to the remote control and that snakes its way up and comes up to here and here is the remote panel right there so that's the power switch right here and it gives me information as to the status of of the battery as well as the power that is uh, available and coming out of the inverter. One of the outlets I am going to mount on this front panel right there. And as you see here, the TV is right up here. There's a, there's a hole in the wall behind that TV to run, run wires. Right now the TV is plugged in up there, but I am going to put um, an outlet some, somewhere right over in here, I believe. I, we'll see how that works out. Today I'm going to continue to work on a project I've been working on uh, that is installing an uh, inverter, a pure sine wave inverter in the camper with a couple of dedicated outlets, uh, primarily so that uh, we can use the coffee maker in the mornings and uh, um, have our coffee but it'll also serve some other purposes because I have a couple of locations that I will be installing the uh, the in, the outlets so what I've got here I'm going to bring this down and and show what I've got we'll continue to video um, I've set up kind of a workstation here and staged everything I've got a couple of six foot uh, power cords and couple of outlets that are designed to pop right into the uh, to the camper you cut, cut a hole and, and drop it in and it screws and locks itself in place and 
and uh, sets us right up for that. And, and so we're going to see how this works out. So let's begin. We'll see what we can do with this. Okay, so I've got three wires here. I can set one of these up then the other one will be just the same Okay, that is loose. Pull that off. Great. Now, I'm going to strip these out. And there we're set. Okay. So I'm ready. I know the green is ground. So the green is going to go in the middle. We'll find out shortly. I don't like doing it that way. Here's how we go. It says. The white goes here. The green goes there. And the black goes there. Now. How this goes in is another question. It's perfect. So we're going to snap this on now. And that one is done. So let's do the next. Do the same thing that we just finished doing. So I've got my two cables ready to go. These are going to mount um, in a couple of different places that I've got them to mount. And then they're just going to run down and plug into the inverter and it'll be just set up to be that way permanently. And that's it. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I, I want this. And I think I'm going to put it right about there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just mark this real quick. And that's going to give me an approximate
really very approximate. That's not quite the right size and shape, but it'll give me a starter for where I've cut my, my hole for this. And then this will drop in there. Um, this will snake through. And I see right where I'm going to go with the cable. Right down through and to it. That's going to work out really, really nicely. So, um, let's take that out and we'll start from there. I'm going to need quite a bit more hole there, aren't I? By the way, this is not a professional job, and it's all going to be mostly hand tools. I've got a uh, saw and um, a file that I'm going to be working with. So. This is the whole saw that I use to drill for um, my 12 volt USB ports from 12 volt uh, sockets. Looks like it needs some sharpening. At the very least. That one has gone through. <laughs> that pushed right out. Nice. There it is. All right. One down. One to finish. All right. There we go with that. I think I'm done with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you know what? Do you know what? Look at that. Look at that. There's one. It's not quite installed. I've got, like I said, I've got to run this. I'm going to run it right down. Here. Or am I going to run it back there? I can run it back there. And then what I need to do though is pack that up over there. You probably can't see that, but let's see. So if I tack this up over here, that's hard again to see. Let's get where we can look. Tack that wire up and then it drops down behind there. And uh, comes down through and it'll plug right into that. That's what we're going to do. All right, that one is fully installed. It's plugged in the bottom. <clears throat> and it is ready at the top. Let's see. It's held up there by a couple of holders <laughs> technical terms and that's one that is good to go of course there's no power to it there won't be any power to it until I hook up wires to the red and the black the positive and negative and head to the, the batteries well after pulling the TV off I decided there's no way I'm going to try to run uh, another power outlet for now anyway I've got that reserved in the garage. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to put the drawers back in and complete the job at hand. Well, today I'm working on finishing up the inverter installation. Um, and as usual, I get started on a project and forget to bring you along. So what I'm going to do is take a moment and, and kind of catch you up on what I've done and show you a little bit of what, I, what I've got. So there is my pure sine wave inverter. It is a 1500 watt, uh, 3000 watt peak inverter. And I've hooked up the ground and I've got my two, two cables run. Uh, up from the bottom, I've got the negative cable already uh, fully hooked up. And so when I use my uh, inverter here uh, then then it'll show up on uh, my monitor and letting letting me know what the power usage is and, and so on the positive cable I'm still working on so here's uh, my negative cable that comes in and it hooks up here where uh, it's connected to the shunt that is powered again by the batteries uh, and, and the usage of, of um, well, all the electrical uh, information that comes through on the 12 volt system. But I've, I've got that right there. And we're using 0.032 amps right now. My 
positive cable is down here. I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so this is awkward, but this is where my cables run inside and they come out and uh, of course my positive cable just comes out down here. The negative cable runs over here and then up through. Um, I've got my ground wire upside down over, right over there. And uh, now I'm working on um, a small extension for my positive cable so that I can hook it to to the, um, sorry about all this, this is awkward underneath the camper, so that I can hook it all to the fuse. I'll show you what I'm doing with that after I make the little extension. All right, the wiring is done. The, let's put a light on in here. Oh, because I don't need one. The inverter is all hooked up. And now we're gonna give it a test. Push the power switch. We have lights. Now, we're gonna plug in the heater. Okay, see, there we go. <laughs> there we, go. we have power. We're gonna have coffee in the morning. <laughs>